Welcome back to Midford Pottery. Quick throwing video for your entertainment. Uh, we are going to try and throw a plate. Have been thrown a plate for a while, so we're going to aim for the nearly the size of this bat, which is about 10 inches, I think, somewhere around there. So here we go. See you in a few minutes. Ooh, we're not very centered tonight, are we? Come back up. Then so the plate was squashing down a bit further than normal. And basically, you can already chop. Now we will switch to a wooden rib, which is what I prefer for my plates. So we're still applying quite a bit of pressure from the inside, working our way out. Trying to keep it level if we can. Actually, I might try, yeah, uh, we'll try the metal rib. We're just going to fettle it a bit, just to compact it, so it feels a bit uneven still. Feels 
better now. So we'll play it to help them or prevent them warping as much. It's all about compacting them evenly. So there's no massive difference in thickness between that bit and that bit which creates stress in the clear. Apparently from more advanced potters than myself, which is what they say, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, to tell you the truth. But it's quite awkward. So we're going for a big knife this time to do a big smoothing off. So next, I'm going to create a small lip on the edge, so while we've got our clear here, basically push back in. Just like that. And then you get a lip. Same as always. We'll Smooth that. I've got a bit of a bump in it. It's not perfectly round, but it is handmade. And the tricky bit of plates, just cutting. Just go right on the buttons of the of the back as well. Not too bad for a dinner plate. Like so and then the question is do a do a swirl. Well, I like the wavy swirl, so we'll start in the middle. Like so. And then just to knock the rough edges off, we'll just run it. Sponge over like that. And that's that. Get some of this water out of the way because it's stopping on the bat. We just have to cut the fella off. So, always fun with a plate, so make sure we've got enough to cut it. Start the way down. Ah! Caught the edge. Dear! We'll just... We'll run our leather round just to... Mr. Clumsy. Right this time, right on the wheel. And through like that. Whew, that's tough.
This is always tough. Well, plates. Keeping them round when they get bigger, as you've seen tonight. And cutting them off. And that is ready to dry out and see what happens. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, check out the website, all the YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching. Catch you all in the next video. Good night.